So I realized that I never really did a video on Siege before. Or I haven't done a video on Siege before. So I'm going to do Siege on four of my accounts here. Well, three of them and then one is my wife's. So right now we're on my wife's account. And I don't really have a strategy, to be honest, when it comes to doing Siege. You guys could let me know uh, how you guys do it. Basically, I just find whatever looks killable and then I kill it or I take to try to take it down. I tried to go for the towers because that's, I don't know. I feel like that's just uh, an important thing to do. So like this one looks relatively uh, doable for me. So I'm gonna focus on this defense tower here. And we have Cardiel. I can assume he's going to go fast. I can also assume that Molly's gonna go fast as well. And Ninja is probably going to nuke. And in case I don't get to kill him, then Kyoku is going to keep them alive. So what I can do is try to figure out a way to deal with this. And what I'm thinking is probably outspeeding them. Now, Cardiel does place buffs. I'm thinking Uko. And gonna try and have Armands in here too. Huh. It's kind of hard because my wife doesn't really have um, an extensive roster. Like this is this is basically it. So we're kind of uh, between a rock and a hard place here. I know Yastrid goes pretty quick, so we could probably throw her in. It's, we're already probably going with the best that we can possibly do. Let's throw Rhonda in here and let's see how we how we do. Yeah, so we get out sped, of course. And yeah, so exactly the way that I thought it was gonna happen, uh, that it was going to happen uh, is happening. Yep. Yeah. And then, yeah. Well, that happened. So that is not happening. And of course, he's level 90. This account, my wife's account is like level, level um, 70. So it looks like we're struggling here a bit. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of just looks like we're not we're not doing that. So <laughs> probably gonna have to take the L there. And we'll see about this one. I have a um, Arbiter here, but it doesn't look like she's... Oh, it's the same guy. Makes a mutant. Oh boy. All right. Well, let's try and go Elva. And we'll try to bring Deacon in. We'll bring Newt in, as well as... I'm thinking here. Newt will be a damage dealer. Have this up there. That I didn't really say anything that time. We could try to. No, because I, already, I see what, what's going to happen. I'm going to get outsped by this arbiter. Yeah, so probably skip that one. Let's check out this post here. A different one, but I'm probably going to be outsped. My wife doesn't have arbiter on her account yet. And there's a plus three here. Looks like we're just completely stonewalled. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll, we'll try it, just to try it, but it looks like we're not going to be doing too well over here. We're mismatched, I believe. The clan that I'm in right now just isn't anywhere near the capabilities to go up against um, a lot of the clans that we've been going up against. And it's kind of weird. You would think that, oh, with so many losses, we would be put into a clan that, or we would be mixed up with the clan, put up against the clan that... Uh, is on our level, but no, that's not the case. I'm not sure how the matchmaking works. I know that when it first started, it was based off of, like, CVC. But recently, uh, it doesn't feel like that, so I don't know. And there we go again, just getting out sped. And here comes the boom from Rhonda. Yep. Yeah, so... <laughs> it's, just, it's just L after L. And might as well just try and uh do one last thing this guy's got blessings all over the place three losses already all right so speed lead and then this is probably oh no more two's here so that's probably not a good thing either mm. probably ronda and then snake track i actually like snake track but I just don't have them on my account. 
and it looks like it doesn't matter because the reason I like him is, is because he's got reflect damage and he also reflects some of the damage back on the attackers. So that, that looks pretty cool. All right, so that's not gonna happen. Maybe we'll have uh, better luck here trying to do some battles on, on my other account in the same clan. So we're in the same clan here. Um, so we're gonna see if we can fight those guys that my, my wife lost to. Start off by here by doing this. So his cardio was going pretty quick. I don't know how fast that was, but we're going to throw in our cardio and we're going to throw in our Arbiter as well. And let's bring in UDK and Sun Wukong. Actually, hold up. Feeling Hefrak. No, let's stick, let's stick with uh, Sun Wukong. Okay, so let's get rid of their cardio first. And then probably get a provoke from her. So let's speed boost. Maybe we can kill uh, Molly first. Okay, and we do. And now all we have to worry about is getting the block buffs off of her. Because if we're not careful, or if we can't get it off, then she's just going to have that buff on forever and she's going to constantly keep putting it back on herself. So we'll see what we can do here. It's just a matter of getting some CCs in, but Kyoku usually has a lot of resistance and that becomes an issue because you just can't take it off. But I guess this one is just not fully maxed out or not going fast enough. I've gotten, I've gotten up against a few Kyokus who just go so fast and they they just have unkillable up all the time oh i guess i should have waited no let's get revenge on his other form here all right so oh you know what no i don't have Tormin on this account all right we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna do the same thing we'll go cardiel arbiter wukong and let's go let's go hefrak yeah, let's see some Hefrak action. Let's get rid of their damage dealer. So whenever I'm doing fights, if I don't know who to take care of or if I don't know who to get rid of, I usually aim for their damage dealer. That way, if they can't take any damage or if they can't do any damage, I don't have to worry too much about it. So there, we took care of that one. Now, what I can do is completely take this defense tower, but he is a lower level. I'm going to leave that for a teammate. I should have left that for my wife. I should have started off with this account and then left um, stuff to the side here. Did my, uh... oh, we did. So I'm gonna get revenge here. So we got outsped. I don't have Arbiter because we already used her twice. Now I have to resort to using the Taurus Marishka combo. So here, block buffs. Could throw in Raglan for a clean. Actually, no, I forgot. Um, Marishka has cleansing capabilities. Rhonda, I mean, Hefrak seems like a good deal here. And we don't have Wukong. Let's just throw this here. No, 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 no. Hold up. Let me see if I can get Lydia in, in case they get a revive out. <clears throat> yeah, because I remember this one had stone skin. So in case he lives, then Lydia will be able to bring people uh, bring people back. We're going to place some strength in, some heals here. And let's place decreased defense in the weaken. Doesn't get to bring her back. Let's place the fear on you. And let's see if we can take uh, Ugo's stone skin out but it doesn't look like it's going to happen oh it does happen okay on the counter attack it does and yeah so usually he would um or she would bring back everybody but i think we've we've got this just gotta wait for that unkillable or the block block damage to go away there you go hell yeah okay so we got revenge and now we can make our way towards the stronghold here. 
This guy's a lower level, so I'm gonna save it for somebody else to do. Oh, oh, that's the only path that we have. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the stronghold or help them get through the stronghold faster because if, if I don't, I don't know if they're going to uh, do it. And I wanna get this out of the way already so I can go back to my day. Uh, let's see if we can get it. Lydia again so that Wukong doesn't try. Actually, do we have Rhonda? Where's Rhonda at? I, I had Rhonda somewhere. I know she's here somewhere. There she is. Let's bring Rhonda in. To deal with uh, Wukong. So we're going to go ahead and hit Sil first. Looks like Rhonda doesn't have any gear on. Let's place this, and then we're going to do this, and then we're going to do a little bit of that. There you go. Now it's just a matter of the stone skin. Oh, never mind. Got sheeped. There you go. And we can call it a day. And those bombs will pop off if uh, we don't kill him first. There you go. All right, so now that's open. All right, next account. Okay, so we're on my alt account here. Looks like they're throwing it. Um, Stronghold looks like it was already taken, so I missed out on that. I guess we'll just have to. Is there any benefit? Like, I'm not, I haven't really been paying attention, but is it necessary? Or like, do you get more rewards? Do you get more rewards if you get a win in the Stronghold? I'm not exactly sure. I know the battle report here has stuff, parameters to meet. So it looks like I defended two slots, shrines defended. This uh, looks like we need to defeat an enemy slot, capture an empty one, or destroy a shrine to earn rewards. So I think if we do that, that's going to help us out quite a bit. So let's look for a shrine. We have one right here. Perfect. And okay, so counter stick has Rodos, Kimi, Tormin. And then Ancora, really annoying, really annoying. I have a plan. The plan is to use Arbiter, Georgid. Let's close this out here. Arbiter, Georgid. Where is Necrit at? Necrit. Warlord and Necrit. Now, this speed lead obviously isn't going to help in Siege because for some reason, even though this is basically Arena, it doesn't count as Arena. So we're going to rearrange people here. Warlord has the better res. Better, better res. And then we're going to have Arbiter in the position 1 to get uh, a better boost for Blessings. Now, one question I do have for Blessings is... As long as your champion has blessings, does it matter the position of of um of your champion slot? So like does arbiters um what do you call it, intimidating presence do more here in position number 1 versus if I put her here or put her here? That's a question I've always been wondering. All right, let's do this. So we don't have to worry about Tormin getting fro uh, freezing anybody because we have stone skin and we have block buffs on Georgid, which is why I really like this combo. And this is basically my my combo for taking down uh, people in classic arena. We're going to focus on Ancora and then we're going to take everybody else out. And we're not really worried about Georgid or um, Rotos taking another another hit here. Just do that. Take care of him. And um, Boost everybody here, block buffs heal, and then take care of Tormin. Throw it on auto there. There you go. All right. So now we have to deal with this here. The concept is the same. Necrit Warlord. So we're going to continue down this path of using Necrit, Warlord, and um, Arbiter, or is it Warlord? 
And we're gonna do this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and put you back over here because I think that's the order of operation when it comes to blessings. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of Uko first. I think that's important. I hate it when Uko takes a bunch of buffs. And I don't think I can smash through Leo quite yet. So we're going to hold off to get rid of um, Necrit first because that ally protect plus the shield, it just contributes a lot to survivability. So let's take care of him first. There you go. Get rid of him. And now we have full reign to go ahead and let Georgia do his thing. And there we go. Leo is not an issue there. And now we can take care of this last team. And it looks pretty, pretty easy, to be honest. I mean, this would have been meta a long time ago. In fact, my first um, plat placement was using the Venus and um, Cupidus combo. So let's do Siffy Rotos. And we could do... Oh, where's Shuzen at? Let's get Shuzen in here. We'll bring Shuzen in. And we'll bring Harima. And we're going to keep keep you right there yeah let's run this we got this guys we got this speed up so if he goes first and we're gonna give this to harima so that we can take out arbiter and then get the aoe in three hits in there you go and i think that's it so we took we took care of the shrine here and now the battle report is showing that we have uh, one enemy shrine left to deal with. Let's go ahead and jump onto my last account and see where we're at. All right, here we are on the main account. Let's go see where we're at. Looks like we're losing. What are we doing here? What is going on? Why have we not even... I'm on the right account? This is my right account. Yeah, this is my right what are we? What are we doing? Okay. So what is, what's going on? Why haven't we, is everybody just busy? What day is today? Today is Tuesday. Oh, I guess people work. That makes sense. Let's go ahead and go down this path and make our way here. So let's take care of this. So it looks like our Mons and Arbiter are going to give us an issue as well as Valkyrie. So my response to the, oh, I see what's going on. Only attack champions all right that's fine we'll figure this out together so arbiter we gotta throw our mons in we'll throw in cupidus and i feel like taurus could uh i was gonna throw torment in initially and then i saw that they had the thing up so yeah basically a speed battle but i wasn't too worried about this um this happening let's go ahead and get rid of arbiter so nobody can get revived and then we can do this looks like thor is still oh because we got sheeped perfect love to see it perfect 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 okay let's boost our turn meter and let taurus do his thing yeah sorry thor this opens up our path going to post 15 in which we only really have to worry about Rodos. Now, we can take care of UDK and Mithrala just fine. Only issues being that Mithrala is really annoying because her hex is just a complete issue in and it of itself. So we're going to copy this team here, except we're going to do things a little bit differently. Instead of doing doing um what do you call it mithrala let's go ahead and throw kaimar into the mix that way we have some uh, resets going on and we have the chance to remove 
uh, his stone skin here. So let's do that. We're going to place block buffs. And we're going to have to wait until UDK falls off. So let's go ahead and do that. It doesn't look like Rodos is too tanky. So I think what we can do is focus down on Rodos. Basically, this is just a battle to, to um, what do you call it? See who, which UDK is slower or which one gets the uh, stone skin off sooner. Remove these buffs and start working our way down on UDK. That Mithrala, you like... <laughs> Sometimes, actually a lot of the times in Live Arena, I ban Mithrala just because of how annoying she can be. And I don't think I've seen too many people talk about it, but yeah, Mithral is really annoying, especially with her her hexes, because that petrification is just a dick to deal with. I just noticed in the background all the way over here that there's a war going on. It's like there's a siege going on. Let's get rid of Mithrala here. That petrification, see? It just makes things last long, or um, what do you call it? Go on longer. Whittle down Rhodos. Let's focus on Rodos a little bit here. While we have UDK here. There you go. Oh my gosh! He survived! And he has a Swift Parry on. Let's put this on in case she tries to put the... Yep, the Hex. That get, that, there you go. That got rid of her. Him. Her. There you go. Now we can throw it on auto. Goodbye, Lydia. Okay. So now... Did that register? Should register. What, what, what are we doing here? Hit the clan boss while we're waiting for that. Oh, never mind, that's already. I think we're going to lose this one. Hello? I already uh, beat this one. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this last fight here. Stargazer's right here, this mythical. And I was told that Sun Wukong is actually an excellent counter to that mythical. So we're going to go ahead and oops, uh, throw in him throw him in i mean and let's go ahead throw makage and i don't know rotos in at the same time as well as actually no let's, let's do um let's do cardiel cardiel in the lead and who else do we have here let's throw marius in yeah this seems fair we'll do this and the reason i think it was darin who told me that oops that um, a really good counter to Stargazer was Sun Wukong was because, let's put him to sleep, was because whenever you kill him or whenever you do enough damage to him where he's about to die, if you use his A2, it sheeps him instead. So we're going to um, do this. And I don't want to kill him yet because I want to show you guys. But apparently, if I, were, if I was going to attack him right now, his health would go back up and he would probably probably just revive everybody. But if I hit him with the A2, which sheeps, if it doesn't kill him, that's kind of how you circumvent that. And uh, I guess uh, it doesn't happen. Oh, yes. We ain't good. Yeah. I'm a fat man. Uh, feed it, chewing drugs.